Um, oh, we ain't gonna go past no. I'm not the lie. I didn't, I just didn't walk in. Well, I know we just we just had to talk about that. I know I can't walk in the room. I was this is what I was doing. I was standing right here, like this. Yeah, that's cool, right? Okay. Oh, okay. I have to file it for you. I have to follow for you today. Okay, that's fine. We'll give you that. Uh, she she just was helping me. That's fine. Okay. I'll continue helping you. Okay. In the meantime, you're going to have to stop recording. Okay? Well, well, I have a right to record, so. Um, if you can, please kindly uh, reach out to uh, Melrose. Melrose has showed up. How you doing, Austin? Awesome? Pretty good, pretty good. I know they called you guys for me, obviously, so. Come with me if you want to live. It's okay, Mom. He's here to help. It's okay. The Tyrant Terminator. Now what's good, TTA family? Back at y'all with another one. And today we are at the Illinois Department of Human Services. Out in Melrose Park, Illinois. They got a public works building over to our left too. Department of Homeland Security. It's a whole little complex, but... Anyway, we're just going in here to see. They respect our rights to record in public and to make sure our rights are not infringed on by anyone at any time. So let's go see. I guess they can all come up here and like uh, use those computers right there to apply for benefits. That's cool too. So you gotta sit around and like fill out applications. That's pretty cool. I'm sorry. Yeah, just recording. Tire building. It's, uh, it's cool, right? Pretty sure everything should be cool. Why? What's wrong? I said, why? What's wrong? Private property. This ain't private property. <laughs> what's the difference between a picture and a, and a video? That's true. I'm I'm pretty sure you can. You probably, I, I bet you if you ask, I bet you if you ask her, I bet you she know I can. That's, that's your supervisor, ain't it? Oh, it ain't? Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. I mean, if you want to check with somebody just to make sure, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I can. Pretty sure. Oh, they told you that? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't think. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think I should be good to go. I'm going to record, and then I'm gonna, um, another thing I'm going to do is file a FOIA with this department as well. So uh, you know what FOIA is, right? Oh, okay, it's Freedom of Information Act. I'm going to request some uh, materials and stuff, and that's about it. So I know she she had seen me record, and I, she didn't really. She, she, is she a security from the same company? Oh, okay. I'm sorry? Oh, okay. Yeah, so she, she didn't really say anything. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Which one's the other ones you work at? Chicago? Oh, okay. Well, you can, though. I mean, it's just some people don't like to be on camera, but we on camera all day, so hey, every time you step out of the house, you on camera. <laughs>
Hotel. Authorized personnel. I'm sorry. Man, I can, it's kind of loud. I can barely hear you. You just going back there like you can't go back there without nobody. That's when you back there. No, I know because I see that door says uh, authorized personnel only. So yeah, I know I wasn't trying to walk past the door. I was just going to stand outside the door. Right. So I think she thought I was trying to access this right here, which I definitely wouldn't. Definitely wouldn't try to do that. Yeah. Definitely wouldn't try to do that, even in this room, too. So, no, we ain't gonna go past no. I'm not gonna lie. You can stand right there, but you can't walk in no room. I, didn't, I just didn't walk in. Well, I know we just we just had to talk about that. I know I can't walk in the room. I was, this is what I was doing. I was standing right here, like this. Yeah, that's cool, right? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I wasn't trying to walk in the room. Not really sure. But, but uh. Everything should be good to go. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I can I get a, a FOIA request form from you guys? A FOIA request form for what? Yeah. To fill out a FOIA. You know what a FOIA is, right? No. What is that? Uh, for Freedom of Information Act. She probably is familiar. Are you familiar? Oh, okay. Supervisor. Okay. Appreciate that. Thanks. FOIA. So it's F O I A. I A A as an Adam. Thanks a lot. All right. I know you. Had, I knew you had looked. I thought you was familiar. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Thanks though. So uh, the young lady says she's gonna go see if we can have a FOIA request for him. And we should be good to go. I'll stay tuned. We actually haven't put a sign up yet. What, what you mean? Oh. Okay. <laughs> so basically. Oh, okay. Hi. Oh, uh, who is he? Hi. Um, you're who is here he? For what reason, sir? Who is he? You're here for what reason? Uh, who who okay. was the young man that just no, approached me? No recordings are allowed in the office, so okay. I'm going to ask you to kindly leave the office. Okay, I have to file it for okay. you. I have to file a FOIA today. Okay, that's fine. We'll give you that. Uh, she she just meantime? was helping me. That's fine. Okay. I'll continue helping you. Okay. In the meantime, you're going to have to stop recording. Okay? Well, well, I have a right to record, so. Um, if you can, please kindly uh, reach out to the public. Okay? Thank you. So, uh, she says she's going to continue to help us file our FOIA. However, she asked the security to kindly, she said kindly, <laughs> reach out to Melrose Park Police. And uh, that's just dead. See what I'm saying? They was just talking about they was going to help us. We're going to help you, but we're gonna, we, we are going to kindly call the police. So it is what it is, TTA family. We'll see. Y'all stay tuned. Are you, are you a supervisor, sir? I am. Okay. I, I'm just wondering. What's your name, sir? Roberto. Uh, don't don't record me. Huh? Don't record me, sir. Well, I'm, I, I need You're to. Me. Why do you need to record me? Because I'm in here documenting today, like I was trying to tell that young lady. Just the, just the lobby, sir. I'm not trying to go past any restricted doors. And I told that young lady. She, she just told him to come with him, come with her. They're addressing it now uh, while on the phone. So uh, maybe who's ever addressing it now 
is educating them that uh, we have a right to do exactly what we're doing. Uh, it's crazy, man. Y'all stay tuned. Permission you wanted? Freedom of information. Act. FOIA, uh, FOIA reform? Okay. Here's uh, all the information here. Here's where you could call. Well, you know what? I know exactly how to file a FOIA. Yeah. I just uh, wanted to file it with you guys with this department and turn it in right away. So I, 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 that's probably telling me to go online, but I know I can do it in person. No, so it's a uh, general counsel office. You would contact them to file it. No, no, I know what you're saying, but I can file it with you guys. What, what, what yeah. I mean, the... yeah, I mean, I can fill it out right here and then give it back to you and you give me a copy and we'll be good to go. If you can, yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, but for sure. Can you please uh, not stop recording? Well, I document all my interactions with government. I just do. I know, but I mean, like, they called the cops. They did? Uh, Why would they do that? Because you can't, you can't be uh, recording this information. It's a HIPAA violation. All these people are clients and work, so it, it is a HIPAA violation. So did you did you see the little short white guy that came out and engaged me first? No. Because he was telling me he was he was getting ready to say something about you guys not having a sign up yeah. about us not recording. Yeah. But he had stopped. Yeah. And, and I know by this being public, yeah. I can. You, you can, yeah. but yeah. you can't record people because that would be against them because they are that would be HIPAA violation. You know what HIPAA violation? Is? I know what HIPAA is, but HIPAA only only pertains to like medical, you know, medical yeah. medical information, and you guys got to protect it. And we got medical information. So, just, just here's the information. If, What's your name, sir? Oh, he on professional, man. Appreciate your professionalism at least, man. At least. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just fill this out real quick on the back, and then I'll turn it in for a photocopy from you guys, and I'll be good to go. Okay. I don't know why. Who, so who caught the cops? I mean, just uh. Just for a call. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, he did try to come back out and get the information that we needed, which is this FOIA right here. Uh, he's trying to tell us how to file a FOIA, telling us to uh, contact the DHS FOIA officer, but we know that to be false, but that's okay. Uh, we'll fill that out and then we'll be good to go. I'll see Melrose has showed up. How you doing, Austin? Pretty good, pretty good. I know they called you guys for me, obviously. So, yeah, the, uh, the, one of the supervisors, if you can see this paperwork right here to the right here, uh, he's actually he was actually able to give me the paperwork that I need, and I'm getting ready to file a FOIA with this agency. Okay. Uh, that's all I was basically trying to do. I recorded the lobby already. I spoke to two security guards already about it. This young lady, the one that's standing up, mm -hmm. she was telling me, as long as you don't go past those unauthorized personnel doors, you're good to go. Right. So I don't understand why they even called you guys. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, just push the button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the story of my life. <laughs> Fight the doors and missing the button. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like they gave you just a bit, as long as you don't cause a problem with anybody that, in here, you're not going anywhere you're not supposed to. Absolutely, I'm just standing like literally in the, in the lobby here. And I already, basically, I already got the whole entire lobby. Okay. I just need to file my FOIA now and I'll be good to go. So that supervisor, they was basically saying you're not supposed to do it and i was trying to explain to him that it's a public lobby yeah that's i'm sure that's what Martin is explaining to him right now it's a public space yeah yeah that's that. all and then like i said once i filed a foil hiking on out <laughs> literally so hey, sounds good to me yeah I appreciate so, you officer thanks a lot how you pronounce your last name d carlo, d d carlo. Yes. okay okay so, yeah sounds good to me man yeah so, to to me, so i have I have nothing to say. Appreciate it, you're doing, officer. You're doing everything legal. And what's your badge number? 87. 87. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to fill this out right here. And we'll, be, we'll be good to go. Yeah, do what you got to do. All right, appreciate it. All right. All right. All right, TTA family. So we'll fill out this FOIA. Uh, we'll fill the FOIA out right quick. He's over there. They're over there talking now. So um, we'll fill out the FOIA. And then we'll be, we'll hike out once the police pull off. Y'all know how it goes. All right, I'll stay tuned. <laughs> All right, just then? Yeah. Oh, they, yeah um, some of the workers here don't don't like the fact that I'm exercising my right to record in this public lobby. So they, like that's the word. That's exactly, exactly. I mean, everybody all of a sudden think they own everything. Especially government. <laughs> you know? That's exactly right. But uh, these officers, but they I forgot who they work for. That's too, exactly bro. right, bro. You're absolutely right, brother. The world is right, you're right. And you know, uh, those two officers right there, I think they're educating them now. Like, you know, leave this guy alone. You know what I'm saying? So, you're absolutely correct. And that's the reason why we do this, brother. There you go. 
There you go, brother. What's your name? Nino. Nino. James. Yep, yeah, you're a fine patriot, brother. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, man. That's terrible when they get doing it. Oh, this is a place for people to help, try to help other people. Right. Right. That's exactly right. Pretty and, soon that's going to go caboose. And you know what? These these entities especially, man, they're so nasty to the public. And yeah. the way they're rude to you guys. People coming in that's getting public services. Well, I don't like you, so I'm going to put you on the box. Yeah, that's, that's pitiful. They could do that too, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like I said, you're all good as long as you're not blocking the doorway. Just... Yeah, you're all good. Like I said, I'm just gonna fill it for you out, and I'm hiking on now. Appreciate y'all. So thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. So, uh, well, you're a big guy. You might be blocking the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> no man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, TTA family. So that's right. You gotta laugh to keep from crying sometimes. <laughs> So we go fill this for you out, and then we out of here. TTA, y'all stay tuned. Man, so so did so did the police inform you guys that I was good to go? I was I already knew. Oh, you had knew? I already knew. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Because I, I was well, that would have been great if you could have told the personnel here they wouldn't even have called them. Oh, they they just ignored it. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, if that's in fact true, I, I appreciate it. So security says she had already knew. Well, she kind of seemed like she did a little bit. Uh, we was back there. She was saying I was good to go as long as I didn't pass any authorized personnel door. So she had to know. So we'll see if we can turn this in. Excuse me, man. Can I just turn this in? So I just need a, a photocopy of that, and then I'll be good to go. Stay tuned, TTA family. All righty, appreciate you. All right, you guys have a nice day. You too. TTA family. All right, brother. Keep your head up, man. Man, you too, brother. All right. Man, you know what? I appreciate that, man. You and you absolutely correct, man. We uh, we're always, we, always backing off and not standing for it, right? That's right. Always. A lot of us do. Like I said, our rights are going to go. I mean, you see it already. I mean, look in the city; they got cameras all over. Yep. They don't even need cops to give you a ticket anymore. That's true. That's that's crazy. I mean, how do? How we gonna? Afford, everybody needs money. How are you gonna afford a hundred bucks a ticket? Yeah. Come on. That's man. a crucial point you just made. You don't even need cops to write them no more. No. That's crazy. I didn't even think You're about right that. Gone, <laughs> you have to look around. Right. Yeah, you're right. You, man, you too, brother. All right, for sure. So, yeah. From the top, GTA family. From the top. Came to the Illinois Department of Human Services to court in public uh, and file a FOIA. Uh, the security, like say the first security that we that we came encounter with, she was kind of couldn't really hear what she was saying a little bit. Though I was able to hear a little bit, and she was talking about how in some spots you can do it, some spots you can't. Uh, some in Chicago or something like that. The second security lady. She basically did say though, like long as you don't go past the authorized doors or something like that, you should be you should be good to go. I uh, we know we but of course we know that. A couple of managers start coming out and they you know they was rude right off the back. Well, not really too much the the young man with the glasses. He didn't really get a chance to even get into the uh and, and why he was engaging me. He didn't get a chance. Cause the young lady came out, the Latino lady came out with one with glasses. And she, she right away, and I was trying to ask her, what's the guy's name? What's the guy's name? She didn't, she didn't want to offer his name. Uh, she, just, she just said, contact the police. Uh, but another uh, young man that came out first, he was, right after that, he was like, you know, don't record me, don't record me. But he did go to the back and got the FOIA stuff that I had requested from the, pre, from the first girl at, at the window. So I appreciate that. And uh, we started getting into it about uh, us recording in public. While I'm filing a FOIA, I was trying to tell him, 
you know, about everything. There's no signs and it's all right and things of that nature. And they still call the cops on so They called the cops. Cops end up coming. Now, I'm going to shock you. I'm going to shock you guys real quick, TTA family, with this. This is going to be shocking to you guys. The first cop we spoke to, I never met him ever, ever, right? But the second cop with the hat, I don't know if you guys can remember him, but we had a very crucial back and forth at a post office out in the whole other city. Well, obviously, it's probably somewhere close to Melrose Park, right? It was, uh, we, we had a real, real serious back and forth. He was cutting me off. I was cutting him off. Matter of fact, y'all check out this clip real quick just for a recap. So, Sorry, you let me ask you, let me ask you no, something. No, I'm going to explain you. So I can't, you can so film. you ain't, is you going to allow me to speak? But you cannot reach over. Is you going to allow me to speak? No, no, no I'm going to talk first. Okay, well, you then, then you're going to allow me to speak. You cannot reach over the counter. And then you're going to allow me to speak, right? And you can't talk, harass the customers. Ain't nobody harassing anybody. This well, is so, so, so. Oh, no, no, I'm talking. All you're gonna do. Okay, but if, gonna, if you ain't gonna allow me to speak, I, I ain't gonna listen to you. You can keep it I'm moving. Explain you. No, you can keep it moving. I ain't got nothing. To, I, ain't, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I want. I want. You ain't even got jurisdiction on this, this federal property. Otherwise, you can keep it moving. You ain't even supposed to have a firearm in here. Yes, I'm advising you. don't supposed to have a firearm in here. You're violating federal law. See that? I know what you're trying to do. I wish you best of luck. I'm saying, but if you know, keep it moving. TTA family. So y'all remember him? Yeah, that guy. That guy. So, yeah, you know, I, I, I figured he come in, you know, obviously he already know because even from that encounter. And you know what? I'm going to link that. I'm going to link that original video in the description as well. Even though it's from a post office, you guys will be able to see the entire back and forth of why they called the polo, police on us, too. And when he came in with that type of attitude, if you guys want to watch it. But that guy, man, y'all remember him? So that's the same same police officer that was just dispatched today. Look like he got on the same hat and everything, right? <laughs> but uh, obviously he know, you know, the entire Melrose Park police already know about uh, pr uh, public public property and us being able to record. And they, they obviously educating them over there. You know what I mean? But dude by dude, I know the first dude, the first dude we was talking to, he didn't seem too bad. But I know the second cop with that hat on, I know he a straight up tyrant, man, because just, just off the previous encounter we had with him at the post office, man, I can already tell. So I ain't going to give him no shout out or nothing like that. He just knows that ain't nothing he can do in terms of forcing us to stop doing what we doing. But in any event, I think we should be good to go. Man, I appreciate everybody that's been locked in with TTA family. Man, we finally reached it. TTA family finally reached a hundred over a hundred thousand family members and I love every last one of you guys man real talk I love you guys wholeheartedly man now we on our way to when we on our way to 200 and uh you know it's truly a blessing from God I give all the glory to God and of course my TTA family members you guys I love you guys uh we uh we should be back oh yeah we should be back live on the 25th on the 25th, 2 p.m. Central. Make sure y'all lock in for that. We'll be back live. Got a, I got a, a real big announcement that day. It's going to it's gonna be a big announcement, but I'm a, still kind of keep it to a minimum. But I am going to announce some things to you guys that day. But Because uh, I see a lot of people saying they missed the live. So we're definitely going to be right back with you guys. Uh, February 25th, Sunday, 2 p.m. Central. So make sure you lock in for that. And uh, let me make sure... Anything else? Nope. Think that'll be about it. So until the next time, y'all stay tuned.